As long as the guy doesn't look over here. No one would notice if a few are missing. Now I have golden passes. Uh, do you have any questions? Thanks for the information. Well, that's what I'm here for. Golden passes. Take care, Frankenmoth. You were a good friend. We would like to see the Wind Chapel. Do you have a golden ticket? Oh, yes. Please follow me. Mm. Look at all the petrified Asposians. Isn't that sad? By petrified explosions, you mean, of course, the life-size replicas. By life-size replicas, you mean, of course, the petrified explosions. Laura, if Steve doesn't want to have anything to do with reality, that's his choice. Thank you. Wait. Their noses. They are all like you. We're like you. I'm sorry, Flute. Uh, um, sorry, Robert. It's okay. I didn't know them. At least, I don't think I do. Strange thing. Is that what Laura's father meant? It almost looks like the sketch in the reception hall. This place seems familiar to me. That's impossible. Why? No one has been here in over 15 years. Hmm? You would have still been a child back then, and I doubt that a child could have gotten a golden pass. Hmm? What sort of place is this? It used to be a sauna, before Pete and I turned it into a museum. Why do I get the feeling that you have no idea what you're talking about? What are these rings? That's the famous golden shower of Sean the Showerer. Really? Robert, don't believe everything people tell you. It looks more like a kind of... Funnel or loudspeaker. How did you come up with that? No idea. 
These rings have to be here for a reason. I'm afraid they're not. They just look beautiful, and beauty doesn't need a reason to exist. No, I believe there's something mechanical about them. Why? Do you see something? No, I... just know it. Who were these Asposians? Those are sculptures by the famous sculptor Stonehead Stonefinger! Oh, yeah. I thought they were actually petrified Asposians. No! That's completely absurd! <laughs> so, you don't know who these petrified Asposians are? I'm afraid I don't. They've never introduced themselves to me. What are you doing here? And who's watching the reception desk? Do you know this place? Do I know it? I grew up here. Contrary to you, my boy. I grew up in a palace. In Conroy's palace. That was the wrong palace. This place here... Yes, brings back old memories, doesn't it? Do you know what these rings are for? Of course. I've polished them every day for 15 years. So, what are they for? It doesn't matter. Nowadays, they're completely useless. What does that cone do? Nothing anymore. Why not? Because there's nobody left who knows what it's for. Do you know who these people are? Certainly. Next to the fountain is Ocarino Augustus II, the head of the dynasty. Next to him is where his wife, Majoria, should be standing. Hmm. Maybe she went grocery shopping. Additionally, you can see Tritonus, and further in the back are Trumpetta, Septetius, and Minoria. And way down there is the quartet, consisting of Violinus, Interludicus, Piccolo, and Sonata. Melodius. Were those their names? Please! Those are still their names. Is that the family that used to live here? They still live here. Well, depends on how you interpret the word live. Most of them are already broken. I know. In the beginning, I tried to repair them again, but... <sighs> it's been so silent ever since. Well, do you remember the song again? Yes. I think I've got it. I remember the whole song. Knock it off! Oh, yes, that's it. No! Shh! It's forbidden to sing that song anymore! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Strange thing. Is that what Laura's father meant? It almost looks like the sketch in the reception hall. Follow me. Mm. We know the way. That's not the point. Laura, he doesn't want us to walk around by ourselves. Okay, my gosh. Steve, just so you don't feel completely useless, please escort us out. 
Very well, follow me. Uh. Do you have any questions? Can you show us the inner courtyard? Do you have a guest pass? What? Yes. Please. Can you distract him again? Well, with the earplugs, it should be fine. Good luck. I'm ready. You can yap away now. Asparagus cookies, on the other hand, are for a very small end of the market. There's not a lot of people that like asparagus cookies, but there are some people you never can tell, can you? Fascinating. soft cookie recipe. A handful of sugar, half a cup of nectarine juice, a kilo of flour, and a portion of chocolate flakes. All the ingredients are in there. The dough is ready. Something's in the oven. How do you get the fire beetles to glow? Insult them until the correct temperature is reached. It's recommended that beginners avoid harsh swearing. No liability for consequential damage. Fire beetles. There were a lot of these in Conroy's kitchen. Conroy said I could have one as a pet, but I always burned myself. You have to say something to them to get them to heat up. Maybe there's a word that activates them. Let's try password one. Wake up. Avada Kedavra. You're supposed to burn. This isn't working. How am I supposed to insult beetles? Wait, what would Conroy say? You unworthy worm, you're a disgrace to all apprentices. That's why your parents dumped you on me. That's the reason why nobody loves you or ever will. The key should be done by now. How do I get them to cool down again? Oh yeah, compliments. <laughs> hey beetles, what's black and shiny and awesome? <laughs> That's right, you are. Hey, it worked. And those were some of Conroy's nicer insults. Burn, Conroy. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's hot! Yeah. Looks like the original and smells like cinnamon. And you go back in my pocket. Butter cookies, of course, were invented in 1412 by the man from the very back of the kitchen, and uh, he was looking for some margarine cookies, but eventually he only had butter cookies. Really? Cookies, of course. <laughs> yes, lovely. Um, uh, are some of the worst kind of cookies you can have because they 
make it with gums hurt, and I, I don't really like hard cookies, but we never know, do we, because hard cookies are some people's favourite, yes. Yes. Soft cookies, on the other hand. Oh, uh, yes, mm, uh, my favourites are the soft cookies. Some people don't like them, but I think they're rather lovely. Of course. Asparagus cookie. Fascinating. Thanks, Laura. That's enough. Thank you, Steve. That was really very uninteresting. It really works. Strange thing, it almost... music made them glow. Do it again. Hmm. What are we supposed to do with marbles? Hmm. <gasps> ah! 